Let us now look at how to connect the icicle kit to your PC. First, make sure that the icicle kit is not powered on. Connect the USB UART port J11, shown here, to your PC. To identify the UART COM ports in a Windows PC, you can open Device Manager and under Ports you will find CP2108 USB to UART Bridge Interfaces 0 through 3. Make note of the COM ports. In our case, they are COM ports 6, 5, 7, and 4. If you can't find the COM ports, you might have to install the required driver. A link to the driver is available in the description below. Now, let's connect to these COM ports using a serial terminal software. We're using PuTTY Serial Terminal and open four terminal sessions to each of the identified COM ports. The settings are 115200 baud, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, no parity, and no flow control. Now, connect your host PC to the USB embedded programming connector J33, shown here. If you are using an early build of the Icicle Kit and the USB embedded programmer is not enabled, you will need to use an external Flash Pro debugger and connect to the JTAG programming header J23, as shown here. Ensure that jumpers J9 and J21 are open if you are using an external Flash Pro. Now we are ready to connect the 12 volts power adapter to the Icicle Kit and slide the power switch on. You should now see the Icicle Kit's Linux boot messages appearing on the terminal windows. Let us now look at how to build and debug the application. In Soft Console, right-click on the project MPFS MMUART Interrupt and click on Build Project. The build is now complete. Now, right-click on the project and select Debug As, then Debug Configurations. Select MPFS MMUART Interrupt Hardware All Hearts Debug and click Debug. Now, Soft Console copies the MPFS MMUART Interrupt application to the loosely integrated memory or LIM of the Polar Fire SOC. The heart reset vectors will be set to the LIM memory, and a soft reset is performed. Click on Run, and the code is now running on the SOC from the LIM memory. You should now see the Polar Fire SOC MSS MMUART example menu visible on the terminal window corresponding to UART 0. You can use this window to select your option. If you type in 0, you generate a UART interrupt to the E51 core or HEART 0, and you get an interrupt count and a cycle counter displayed in the terminal window. If you type in 1, you get HEART 1 printed in a loop on the terminal window corresponding to UART 1. If you type in 2, you get HEART 2 printed in a loop on the terminal window corresponding to UART 2. And if you type 3, you get HEART 3 printed in a loop on the terminal window corresponding to UART 3. We have now debugged a bare metal project on the Icicle Kit. We have done this without altering any non-volatile memory contents. We're now going to end the debug session. We'll power cycle the Icicle Kit by turning the power switch off and on again. You will find that the Icicle Kit starts to boot Linux again. We hope you enjoyed this example on debugging a bare metal application with Polar Fire SOC. Thanks for watching.